Well, Dorothy is familiar to our Catholic TV viewers because she is on Salt and Light's program, Mothering Full of Grace. She joins us today to talk about her book, Motherhood Matters, a great idea for Mother's Day. Dorothy, how you doing? I, uh, I'm excited to be here, but at the same time, I am mourning the, the loss of uh, my mom who passed away on April the 12th. So it's uh, a bittersweet time. And just before I came on air, I said, Ma, whenever I delivered a seminar or appeared on Salt and Light, I always called you and asked you to be my prayer warrior. And I said, and I'm depending on your prayer uh, today as I appear on uh, on television again. So uh, I'm sure that Teresa's Polarski spirit is here with us. <laughs> Let me tell you, Dorothy, she has, you don't have to pray to anyone. You're going to do a great job today. And your mom's looking down with a big smile right now. Oh, thank you so much. Thank well, you. Yes, she well, is. Well, thanks for joining us from Canada. You know, our good friends from Salt and Light are up there. They're located up there. Uh, and Father Rosique or the whole group, Gita, they're great. Uh, your blog is interesting. Tell us about being a gutsy Catholic mom. Well, a uh, gutsy Catholic mom sort of was a, an inspiration really by Mother Angelica's spirit. And so I thought if in my own circles and, you know, in hockey arenas and baseball diamonds and grocery stores, if I could somehow exemplify that, that spirit of uh, gutsiness and talking openly about the uh, Catholic faith and new evangelization and write about it to sort of reframe what it means to be a, a Catholic woman in the minds and eyes of people I met, and so, you know, Gutsy Catholic Mom was born. And uh, so I, I share my reflections on motherhood in hockey arenas and, and things like that. And, you know, uh, you, you mentioned Mother Angelica. She just celebrated her 90th birthday. So a big shout out uh, to her. She <laughs> celebrates her birthday. But what was it that initially uh, made you decide uh, to write this book, Motherhood Matters? Well, I've got to be honest, I was mothered into writing the book. I didn't plan to write it. I've hosted a, a mother's group for about 17, 18 years now. And after mother's group, uh, I was always left with just tons of graces in my heart and my soul. So I started to send out reflections to the mothers on my email distribution list, which is about sort of 200 moms. And all of those mothers kept on saying, oh my gosh, your writing is beautiful. It shouldn't be just for us. And so uh, you should get it published. And I, I turned to our National uh, Catholic Register here in Canada. Um, they love the pieces. I'm now a, a columnist with the Catholic Register. So if it wasn't for the love of the mothers in my own mother's group and their encouragement, um, you know, so this, this book is a collection of writings over a, a long period of time to mothers in my mother's group. So I need to do a shout out and thank them and encourage other mothers to start Catholic mothers groups. Well, there's a chapter in the book on how couples merge or create new family traditions. What are some of the helpful tips on making this transition, Dorothy? Well, first of all, uh, make sure that you, you, you marry a Catholic when you're choosing a husband to make sure that you're both on the same page. I think uh, a lot of people, when they're getting married, perhaps shelve the Catholicism as a priority. And um, so number one, make sure you're marrying the right person. Uh, number two, recognize that there are going to be differences and recognize that there are going to be clashes and there are certain things that you know, you're going to have to let go of. I used to love doing volunteer work on Christmas Day at uh, the St. Francis table, but when I got married, I had to go visit my husband's family. Um, my husband's been a hero in that he's gone to uh, mass in Polish for 20 years and he doesn't understand a word of Polish on Christmas Eve because he knew how much it meant to my mother. And uh, so they're, uh, you know, recognize that there are going to be sacrifices, recognize that there will be some conflicts and also opportunities to create new traditions. And we have lots of those. And I do write about them in the book, Motherhood Matters. So. Dorothy, uh, I have two questions for you. First of all, what is your mother's name? Because I want to make sure that we put her name and, and yours into our prayer box here so that we can all pray for the two. Oh, you are just filling my heart with so much joy. She's so excited right now. Her name is uh, Teresa Polarski. Teresa. Um, and uh, my name is uh, Dorothy Polarski. I have to say, Father, that in, the, in her final two weeks, all of her suffering, she was offering up for uh, priests. She offered up her suffering for uh, priests to, for those priests who do not celebrate the Mass with caution and reverence and with love, and instead are doing it just as something to cross off their list of things to do, that they would recognize the the beauty and you know understand fully what they were doing. So she offered it up for those priests. She offered up her suffering for uh, priests that 
that um, that Pope uh, Benedict had had read about in that document. Um, she was thanking God for her suffering. I have about I don't know, 20, 25 pages of edifying notes that my mom's uh, left for us. So um, she kept on saying, you know, there's a lot to offer up for. So don't wonder why I'm uh, taking so long to pass away. She had an incredible sense of humor during the process as well. You know, she's a survivor of World War uh, Two. And anyway, I, I need to be sensitive to your time issues. But yeah, I'm very no, no, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you saying all that. She was uh, obviously a, a very good Catholic mother and continues to be. And and your book is. Oh, just in time for Mother's Day, both here in the U.S. and Canada. We celebrate it on the second Sunday of May. So where can people get a copy of this? Because it would be a perfect gift. It, uh, it, for an autographed copy, you could go to my blog, Gutsy Catholic Mom. Um, very easy to find on the Internet if you Google it. And uh, or also, if people are more comfortable, they can go to the Catholic Register in Canada. It's also available for sale uh, through the newspaper in the Canadian Catholic Register. So one of those two places would be uh, fantastic. But autographed copies from uh, Gutsy Catholic Mom. or I also have a website, DorothyPolarski.com, on the corporate side. Very good. Well, Dorothy, thanks so much for being with us today, sharing your time. Your mom is certainly in our prayers, as are you, and, and keep up the great work up there in Canada. And uh, my heart is also with you, and, and I will be praying also for your, all of your intentions. Thank you very much for Thank your time. You. Thank you. God bless. Bye now. All right. Bye-bye.